Hello and welcome back to part two of PowerPoint. In the first PowerPoint, we put together the four slides and when we ended, we had put on the animated clip art and we had went in and we had viewed the presentation. Now, I am going to go over here back to home and put in another new slide. And I'm gonna go over here to the insert tab and show you some different things that you can put in your presentation. We could go in and we could do word art. We did word art in Microsoft Word, so we can include word art. We could include shapes. And then something in the newer versions of PowerPoint would be the icons and the 3D models. We could also do smart art and we could do charts. The charts would embed Microsoft Excel into PowerPoint. We could actually take one of the Excel spreadsheets that we did and we could put it in PowerPoint. If you wanted to, you could include a video. This might be a video that you created on your cell phone and you want to put it in PowerPoint. You can make audio to go in PowerPoint or you can actually do a screen recording where you're recording the screen, which is basically what I'm doing right now as I show you how to use PowerPoint. Okay, there's all kinds of things up under insert that you can include in your PowerPoint presentation. I'm not actually going to demonstrate those to you because a lot of them are things that we did in Microsoft Word that you already know how to do. It works the same in PowerPoint. And the others are things that you can go into and you can figure it out really easy by experimenting. Okay, the next thing I do want to show you is how we can add transition or animations to slides. Okay, for example, I'm going to go in and preview our presentation again. Oops. I was experimenting and I put transitions on it by accident. Okay, so normally when we go from slide to slide, just one slide moves off the screen and another one comes on. But we can add animations to each slide by going to transition. And here we have all kinds of animations. Now, normally you want to put only one or two animations or transitions on each PowerPoint. I'm going to put something different on each slide, but only to show you how it works and what the different transitions are. So this first one, I'm going to choose curtains, which you were, is what you were getting a preview of just a minute ago. Now I'm going to go to slide two, and I'm going to choose something completely different. And I'm going to keep doing this throughout my entire presentation. I think that was the same one I'd already used. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to view the presentation. So slideshow from beginning. Notice each time a slide leaves, we have a different transition. Okay, and now I have one more thing that I want to show you. Let's say that we have completely finished with our PowerPoint and now we are ready to set it up to play automatically. When we set it up to play automatically, we can set it up on a loop so it continually plays over and over and over. So it might be that you're creating a PowerPoint with a bunch of family pictures in it and you want to set it up to play over and over so that everybody can see it. We can go here to rehearse timings and we can decide how long we want each slide to stay on the screen. It might be that you're giving a presentation to an audience and you want to practice and see how long you want each slide to stay there for you to talk over the slide. I'm going to skip that step and I'm going to go straight to record slideshow. And I'm going to choose record from beginning. And I can tell you the newer version of PowerPoint works a little bit different than other versions. For example, right now, it automatically opened up the camera and shows on me. I would really prefer to turn that off, and I may later. But I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to click on Record. Okay, now it's recording, and I'm going to go through and click my mouse 
to go from item to item, however fast I want it to go. And it's recording me. Up in the top left-hand corner, it does say recording in progress. So you may want to check that as you go through it to make sure that it is recording. When you are finished, you're going to click on the stop button. It normally does ask if you want to save the timing. It tells you how long it was and asks if you want to save it. This new version has not done that to me. But I'm going to go back here and I'm going to see if it did record like it's supposed to. So I'm going to go to slideshow and from beginning. And this time I'm sitting back. I'm not touching my mouse and I'm just letting it play. And notice it recorded me talking in the background. I forgot to turn the microphone off, but I could have returned the microphone off. And it's recording me up the top right here. Okay, it did record me, so I went ahead and I clicked out of that so you weren't hearing the recording, me and the recording talk plus me right now. But you can go in and you can turn off the microphone so you're not recording in the background or it might be that you want to talk in the background of the PowerPoint and then you would do the recording and the next time I do a PowerPoint I'm definitely turning off the video because I don't want the video playing if I did want the video playing that would be great and you can also see that it was showing captions of what I was saying at the bottom I turned that on a little bit earlier today okay so part one and part two has been a quick preview of Microsoft PowerPoint. I showed the main points that you have to do to put in the presentation that you're doing for me. You should be able to experiment and learn a lot about PowerPoint on your own, but if you have any problems whatsoever, just send me an email and I'll help you out. Thank you.